So we're going to have a look at an algebraic long division now, and it's going to follow a really similar process to what we've just done with numbers. So I've got these divide, multiply, subtract, bring down as the way that we do these things. And I've said in these two boxes here, you're going to use different columns for different powers. That will make sense when we start drawing this out. Usually we use different columns for different place value, but we're now going to be doing it for different powers of x. And we're only going to be looking at the highest power term in the divisor when dividing. So I'll come back to what that bit means in just a second. So this is the thing that's going to go inside the bus stop. We're going to have 6x cubed plus 28x squared minus 7x plus 15. And we are going to divide it by x plus 5. And if you remember, this thing here is the bit that's called the divisor. So when I am only going to be looking at the highest power term in the divisor when dividing, I'm only going to be really concentrating on the x when I do the dividing. I'm not going to worry about the 5. If it was x squared, you would just be concentrating on the x squared when doing the dividing. You don't worry about the extra bits that are there. So we're going to do the first bit, which is to divide, and we concentrate on the 6x cubed. Yes? x is a higher power than 5, because 5 is technically x to the power of 0, because x to the power of 0 is a constant. So it would go, that one is the lowest power, that one is a higher power, x squared would be the next highest power. Okay, good question. So I'm now going to do the divide bit, which is 6x cubed divided by x. 6x cubed divided by x is... Good, and I'm not going to write x squared in this column, because I said you write the columns in the powers. So I'm going to write the x squared bit over here, and I'm going to write 6x squared here. We just got rid of the, um, from x cubed to x squared. So that was the first bit of doing a divide. We're now going to do 6x squared multiplied by x plus 5. So 6x squared multiplied by x is 6x cubed, and 6x squared multiplied by 5 is positive 30x squared. And now we're going to go to the third thing, which is to do a subtraction. Well, this is good. We wanted these things to cancel out, didn't we? We want them to disappear, which is why we did that division. So these are going to subtract and not be there. I'm then going to do 28 minus 30, which is minus 2x squared. And then I'm going to bring down the minus 7x. So I've done that whole process of divide, multiply, subtract, and then bring down. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the same that same four things. I'm going to start off by doing a divide. Now, again, we're just going to concentrate on the highest powers. OK, I'm not going to concentrate on the extra bit that's here. I'm always going to be concentrating on the highest powers. So I've got minus 2x squared divided by x. You're doing minus 2x squared divided by x, just minus 2x. OK, so I'm going to put minus 2x here. I've done the divide bit. I'm now going to do the multiply part. So minus 2x times x is minus 2x squared. Minus 2x times plus 5 is minus 10x. So I've done the divide, I've done the multiply, I'm going to do the subtract stage. Now, I'm going to do this bit is going to cancel because you're doing minus 2, minus, minus 2, which gives you 0. Be really careful when you do the subtracting here because this subtraction is going to be minus 7x minus minus 10x, which, which is 3x, because that's minus 7 plus 10. So you've got to be very careful with negatives here. So you get a 3x. And then I've done the subtract. I'm going to bring down the plus 15 that I've got here. Again, you just concentrate on the highest power. So I'm now going to do 3x divided by x, which is 3. three. I'm going to do the multiply, which is 3 times x plus 5, which is going to be 3x plus 15. I'm going to subtract these, and I get 0, which means there is no remainder. There is no remainder there. So what this is telling me is that 6x cubed plus 28x squared minus 7x plus 15 divided by x plus 5 is equal to 6x squared minus 2x plus 3. And we're going to do some more examples of this to get some practice in. If you have... 
Um, it's not going to be a question by itself. It's going to be a skill that we're going to be embedding within other kinds of things. So it would probably be a couple of marks to do this because it's a process, but it's not like a, it's not like a difficult process in terms of maths. It's more just like a kind of a, um, an algorithm or a skill that you go through, which is why they don't award many marks for this kind of thing. Can anybody think about how I could rewrite this at the bottom in a different way? What alternative things could I come up with? Yes. Um, X plus five is not going to be a factor of this. Yeah, I could times it. So I could say that six X cubed plus 28 X squared minus seven X plus 15 is equal to X plus five, six X squared minus two X plus three. And so what I've done here is I've taken this statement, this long piece of algebra that I've got to begin with, and I've factorized it. I haven't fully factorized it because I may be able to factorize this bit, but I've definitely taken out one of the factors that we've got there. And if you've taken out one of the factors, that's going to be useful. Why do we find it useful to factorize things? What are some of the reasons we factorize in math? to solve, so we could then solve this equation, because if this was equal to zero, we know that one of the solutions would be that x was minus five. If we wanted to sketch this graph, we would know that it would be crossing at x minus five. So this is why we're not just doing this for the sake of it, we're doing this because things in factorized form are gonna be a lot more useful to deal with, okay? So it allows you to tell us this statement that we've got here. When you rearrange that statement, it also tells you this thing that we've got here. Okay, should we go and try the next one as well? So the next one that we've got, is just going to be another bit of practice like this one. So I'm going to go not a little bit quicker. I'll just, just do this one without all of the explanation that goes with it, okay? So we're going to put inside the bus stop. I hate saying the bus stop. It's like primary school, but that's what I've said. And we're going to have x minus 4 outside the front there. So we're only going to be concentrating on the highest powers to begin with. Um, who thinks they can tell me what's the first thing I'm going to be chucking out the top here? It's going to be 2x squared, because I'm doing 2x cubed divided by x, and it's going to be 2x squared. Notice how I'm putting it in the x squared position. What comes next, Jamil? Times, times you times x minus 4 by 2x squared, and you get 2x cubed minus 8x squared. Next step, Sufian. I did the divide bit, I've done the multiply bit, subtract. I'm not going to do the bring down yet, I need to do the subtracting first, okay? We've got them over here as well. So I'll do 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, obviously they're going to cancel. Be really careful, you've got minus 5, minus, minus 8. Good, it's plus 3x squared. So we've now done that process all through once. Now I need to bring, or oh, I haven't done it through because I need to bring down the 16x to get minus 16x. Um, Zainab, what's going to be the next thing that I need to do? Um, do yeah, good. I'm going to do 3x squared divided by x, which is plus 3x. Remember, you don't need to think of the smaller bits. You're just looking at the highest powers that you have here. And so after I've done that division, I'll do a multiplication. So 3x times th x is 3x squared, and 3x times minus 4 is minus 12x. Good. Minus 16 minus minus 12 is minus 16 plus 12, which is minus 4x. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the 10 for that process, and then that's finished. And then I've got one more thing that needs to be done. Yes, yeah, minus, yeah, minus 4x divided by x is minus 4. So I get minus 4x, and then I get negative 4 times negative 4, which is plus 16, then I'm going to subtract. 10 take away 16 is minus 6. So this question asks us to find the remainder when it is divided by x minus 4. The remainder is negative 6. And we're going to write this down as a statement as well, because we use this skill in year 13 maths as well. But if I can show you it now, you'll just feel better about it when we get to year 13. So we know that 
2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 16x plus 10, when you divide it by x minus 4, you get 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, and you get a remainder. Now, when we did it with um, calculations, you would have decimals, but we're not going to have decimals in this bit. Do you remember we did one on the board just now, and at the end we had a remainder of 11? We were doing something divided by 12, and we had a remainder of 11, and then it, we would put the remainder of 11 out of 12. So what do you think I would put as the remainder of this bit? Minus six over minus Good. It's going to be minus 6 over x minus 4. So this is the remainder divided by the divisor. So it hasn't asked for you to write it like this, but this is what the remainder looks like. So you have the remainder, which is the minus 6, and you divide it by, I just want to double check, is that thing called the divisor that comes outside the front? I can't remember my own, my own teaching. It is called the divisor. Didn't want to write something on the board that wasn't. What do you mean? Com yes. You completely ignore the minus 4 until you do the multiply stage. Because when you do the multiply stage, we had the 2x squared multiplied by minus 4 to get minus 8x squared. We did the 3x times the minus 4 to get the minus 12x. So the minus 4 isn't being completely ignored. It's, um, it's being ignored to begin with, and then you're taking it into account afterwards. Okay? And the reason we ig ignore the minus 4 is because the x is more dominant because it has a higher power and then we just counteract it with the minus four stuff afterwards. Okay, we're gonna try a different one, but I'm gonna split this into another example. <laughs>